The Sufi sheikhs who prefer wealth to poverty do not use the term wealth in its popular sense. What they intend is not an acquisition of a benefit but acquisition of the benefactor. At one occasion this question was discussed by Junaid and Ibn Adda. The latter maintained the superiority of the rich. He argued that at the resurrection they would be called to account for their wealth and that such an account, hisab, entails the hearing of the divine words, without any mediation, in the form of reproach, etab, and the reproach is addressed by the beloved to the lover. Junaid answered, If you will call the rich to account, he will ask the poor for their excuse, and asking for an excuse is better than calling to account. A very subtle point. In true love, an excuse is otherness, Viganagi, and reproach is contrary to unity, Yaganagi. Lovers regards both these things as a blemish, because excuse is made for some disobedience to the command of the beloved and reproach is made on the same score, but both are impossible in true love, for then neither does the beloved require expiation from the lover nor does the lover neglect to perform the will of the beloved. In a social setting, sociological dimension, however, the beloved has favored the poor companions of the Prophet, PBUH, such as Salman al Farsi, despite his tattered dress and dervish look. Prophet was ordained to hold himself contented, keep tied to them, for they are the ones who attract the help and support of Allah, SWT, keeping busy morning and evening, seeking his countenance. Don't let your eyes overlook them, distracted by the worldly allurements. Q. 18, 28. Shakir2.wordpress.com